Hey everybody, welcome back to Reach and Reverie. Today is gonna be a little bit different. Luis, myself, and the dogs, we are actually gonna go on a mountain hike. We're at Fort Davis State Park, and today we are gonna hike the Indian Lodge Trail. So the reason that we are gonna go on a hike today is because I am actually preparing for a backpacking trip. And just a handful of weeks, I'm gonna fly across the country for a week long backpacking trip with my two sisters. And so today, we're gonna get a little bit of mountain hiking in. So over the past several weeks, I have been doing just day hikes around the neighborhood, hiking a few miles here and there at a time. But today, this is gonna be a tough one. So we are gonna hike all the way up to the summit of this mountain. And our, the Indian Lodge Trail hike is about a three mile hike, but it is like almost a 600 foot elevation change. So it's gonna be pretty vertical in a couple areas. So let me go get the dogs, regroup with Luis, and we're gonna get started on this hike. All right, so this is where we are. We're starting right here at this parking space and we're gonna hike up this trail. And then we could either go left or right and we'll hike back up to the car. Supposedly it'll take about an hour, but we'll see. I think we're gonna have fun and just enjoy the views. You guys ready? All right, guys, we have made it to the summit. We are about halfway through this hike, and this was a really, really steep climb up this mountain. So we're really excited that we're on the way down. But look at these views. This is the greenest I've ever seen it out here. We've had so much rain this year, which is such a blessing. And the whole mountainsides are green. Usually they look kind of tan and brown. That's what I'm used to seeing out here. But this time that we're out here, it is just so green and beautiful. Everything is blooming. There's flowers everywhere. Look, right here, we have some cute little flowers just everywhere you look. The mountainsides are covered in little yellow flowers and white flowers and look there's little purple flowers it's absolutely beautiful so our car is down there in that little parking area and that's indian lodge and we started and we snaked our way up the mountain now the incline from the parking lot up to this rock is so steep. We probably had to stop like three or four times just to catch our breath. And once you get to this rock, it's gotta be at least a hundred foot tall cliff. I don't even know. It's huge and you can hike all the way up and on around that rock. And we stopped there for a break and let the dogs get some water. It's just absolutely stunning, breathtaking. And then we hiked up and around to the top of this mountain and now we're on the summit so we're gonna keep going on this hike getting stronger getting fit getting ready for that backpacking trip that's in just a handful of weeks now i have been on this hike several times before and i've never taken evie on this hike i have taken dyson once before but it is really difficult super rocky a lot of boulders everywhere and so in prep for this hike, for the past about close to a month, I've been hiking more than a mile a day, between one and three miles a day, just to get us a little bit more in shape for this hike. Granted, it's only a three mile hike, but it is up and down into crevices, through little canyons, boulders. It's pretty strenuous, but really fun. Are y'all ready to get back to it? Let's get going, I see a the class down there, they're gonna catch up to us. <laughs> at our pace we're going, huh? Oh man, look at that. Look at that butterfly, beautiful black and blue butterfly. Let's catch up to them, look, they found a shady spot. Evie, come on, 
Evie wants to sit in the shade. Look at this. Evie says, I found the shade. So, Luis is being a gentleman. He took my weight for me and training for this backpacking trip. I've been carrying about 20 pounds in a backpack every time I walk. The dogs are going on a hike and he's taking a shift so I can catch my breath a little bit. Oh man, I can't get over how green it is. Almost looks like the hill country right now compared to high desert. Look at these. I don't know what they are, but the flowers almost look like jasmine. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, this is a nice overlook. A dragonfly, oh my goodness. This is a nice juniper. Maybe let the dogs catch their breath for a minute in the shade. You could, it looks like that'd be a good spot to bed down if it wasn't so close to the trail mm. for like deer and stuff. Now it doesn't look like there's a lot of cover but there's a lot of wildlife that live out here. We actually, this past week, we had another black bear come into town. And there's black bear out here, mountain lions, coyotes, mule deer, bighorn sheep, all dads. Now, all dads are invasive. They're actually exotics from like Africa, I think. And they are everywhere out here. Super prolific. And they actually are out competing bighorn sheep right now. But we're probably going to see a few of those if we stay quiet on our hike. <laughs> Evie says, I didn't sign up for this. Oh, Dyson's pooping. I got some poop bags. Poop bag. This is really beautiful now that we're kind of walking along the summit. The top, it's almost kind of plateaued out. <laughs> right as I say that we're getting into a so tall patch, but it was just beautiful grassland for a second where it was just Looked like a perfect spot for deer or sheep to graze something like that. I know deer are more browsers, but Just beautiful grassland. I'm looking down so I don't lose my footing But we're also seeing a lot of interesting wildlife out here. There's all these butterflies and um grasshoppers and each of the different grasshoppers there's so many different kinds some of them they blend in really well when they're being still and then when they fly they flash color and some of them are blue some of them are red bright orange and it's just been really neat to see you got it Evie? I think Evie's getting pretty tired See that beautiful grassland at the top of this plateau. Every time we run into a juniper bush, we try to stop in the shade for Evie for a minute. Dyson's doing pretty good, but this Russian wolfhound is more suited for cold weather than hot weather. Now we did get here right when the park opens. The park opens at eight in the morning. And unfortunately here, the sun rises at about 6.45 in the morning. So by the time we got here, right at open, the sun was already up. So we got here as early as we can to beat the heat of the day, but we're sitting in some heat right now. So it's actually not that hot outside. I was thinking upper 70s, maybe low 80s. And Luis just looked it up and it is 81 degrees outside. So it's not too bad. So we've been planning this hike for a couple weeks now. And one day that we chose to come out here, there's not a cloud in the sky. But it's really cool. You can see the McDonald's Observatory. Down there's the road that we drove up to come to the park. Beautiful cliffside over there. It's just gorgeous. I 
really beautiful. Must be the car traveling. Yeah, look, so that's the road that we came in. No, and yeah, it's about halfway up here, so then the road is over here, and then we started at Indian Lodge. So the, this trail is going to snake down to the bottom of the hill, and then we'll hike up the road back to the parking lot. Cool. Alright. Yeah, we're in the sun. We're going to keep going, find some shade. Now, where I'm flying to for our week-long backpacking trip is actually going to be at sea level. So even though this hike is great for building endurance, luckily for me, <laughs> I don't have to get in shape of climbing up and down mountains for this trip. But this is a really good trail to help build endurance. We're going to start off in the first day, we're going to hike 13 and a half miles. The second day, we're going to hike almost 10 miles. And it's a, a week-long backpacking trip. So this is great. Even though it's not a super long hike that we're doing today, we are definitely building cardio. We're building lung capacity. We're building muscle. That is definitely going to help on this backpacking trip. All right, guys. We did it. We finished that trail. It was a two-and-a-half-mile trail, and we have a half a mile to hike back up on paved road to get back to our vehicle. And we are walking in the shade. Evie's doing pretty hot right now. I think she's pretty hot, but we've been giving her lots of water and taking lots of breaks in the shade. So our hike, we went all the way up the side of this mountain, around the back side of that mountain, and then snaked down and came out right there. Beautiful hike, we are about two and a half hours in on a two and a half mile hike. So we took it nice and slow, really taking in the views, stopping a lot to hydrate, make sure the dogs are getting some shade. It's a great place to be. I really like this state park. There's campsites all in here, lots of different things to do, lots of different trails for all kinds of difficulty levels. We're definitely gonna be back. I can't believe we were all the way up there a minute ago. I know you that rock. Yeah, we hiked all the way to the top of that rock. And all the way up to the top of that rock. We're almost done guys. Evie is tired. I think I said can go again. He does pretty good. We did it. We made it back to the car. That was a three mile trek. And even though I hike one to three miles every single day with the dogs, that was something else. Look at that. We had about a 600 foot elevation gain on that hike. Whew. Luis and I put the dogs in the car. We got the air conditioner going. Now we're gonna go on a little scenic drive and then we're gonna have a little picnic here in the park before we head home. All right, so we're about to picnic, but we decided to come out to one of the scenic overlooks so that we can really capture all of the views that Fort Davis State Park has to offer. You see that white clump of buildings over there? That's where we started our hike this morning and we hiked up to the top of the mountain and all the way around to the downside of this one and then back up, so that was a nice, three mile hike that we did this morning. And now we're on the next mountain over. And just look at those views. It's absolutely beautiful. I think we found our picnic spot. Look at this. Got nice cold concrete seats that are in the shade. Beautiful roof over our head. And check out that view. Let's eat. So on the menu we have some
sausage burritos, some chippies, and a couple nice ice cold drinks. Cause we bought the ice chest today. I'm so happy we decided to bring the ice chest. All right, so we just finished our lunch and it is time to head home. We got a little bit of a drive ahead of us. So if you like this video, don't forget, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. That way you can stay up to date with the greatest and latest everything going on here at Reach and Reverie.